السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Today إن شاء الله we'll complete uh, our lesson uh, uh, equation of straight line uh, question 10 if a 3 and 5 b 4 and 2 and c negative 2 0 prove that a b c is right angle triangle at b right angle triangle at b it means we have angle it, its measure equals 90 degree and we should also have can I find the slope between two points AB the slope of the straight line AB equals y2 minus y1 divided x2 minus x1 direct substitution then we have a slope of AB equals 5 minus 2 divided by 3 minus 4 equals negative 3 by the same way we can find the slope of BC to prove that AB perpendicular to BC 0 minus 2, negative 2 minus 4 equals negative 2 divided by negative 6 equals 3. Then we notice that the slope of AB times the slope of BC equals negative 1, or the slope of AB equals negative 1 divided by the slope of BC. Then we have measure angle B equals 90 degree, which means that the triangle ABC is right angle triangle at B. Then to prove the triangle uh, has a right angle then we can prove that a b perpendicular to b c how can i find a b perpendicular to b c by using the slope prove that the slope of a b times the slope of b c equals negative one which is number eight Question 10. Number 11. If we have ABC, a uh, triangle such as that A equals B equals and C equals, but here we have in C we have K, unknown value. Is right angle triangle at B, find the value of K and find the surface area. At first, uh, yes, right angle triangle at B, it means find the slope of AB equals Y2 minus Y1 divided X2 minus X1. Don't forget that. The rule Y2 minus Y1 difference between Y coordinate divided by difference between X coordinate equals 4 minus 7. 7 minus 4 divided 1 minus 2 equals negative 3. By the same way, find the slope of BC because the triangle is right at B. The slope of BC equals, by the same way, here we have Y minus Y, then K minus 4 divided by 5 minus 2 equals K minus 4 divided by 3. Since AB perpendicular to BC, yes, then we can say that 1 equals negative 1 over divided the other, or we can say 0 times equals a negative 1, as, as you like. Since uh, major, uh, a slope of AB equals negative 1 divided by a slope of BC, we can say the slope of 1 equals a negative 1 divided by the other, or there times equals negative 1. Then K minus 4 divided by 3 equals a negative 1, uh, equals, a neg equals a negative 1 divided the slope of BC, it means negative 1 divided by negative 3, can the negative was negative, then equals 1 over 3. Then we have equation by using a cross multiplication, then k minus 4 equals 1 times 3 divided by 3. 1 times 3 divided by 3 equals 1, then k equals 1 plus 4, transforming negative 4 in the other side equals 5. Then k equals 5. Question number 12. <clears throat> For as the first remark before the question, to prove that ABC is a parallelogram, we must uh, make good revision about the parallelogram. To prove that ABC is parallelogram, we must prove that each two of the sides are parallel. Each two of the sides are parallel. 
or we can group each two of the soil or equal in length or equal in length or we can prove that we have only two sides two of the sides equal in length and barrel in the same part to prove that rhombus or rectangle or square which are special cases of parallelogram in the rhombus we have each two of the sides are parallel as parallelogram then at first we must prove that the shape is rhomb is parallelogram to prove that rhombus we must at first prove that is the shape parallelogram to, uh, to prove that the shape is rectangle at first to prove that the shape is parallelogram to prove that the shape is, is square at the first prove that the shape is parallelogram because rhombus rectangle square are special cases from the parallelogram but uh, we have to add add uh, property property to rhombus special in rhombus which is two diagonals are perpendicular two diagonals are perpendicular in rhombus so we add AC must perpendicular to BD how can I prove AC BD by using this proof a rectangle at first proves that each two of the sides are parallel yes and we have A B perpendicular to AD four angles are right four angles are right or we can prove that two diagonals are equal in length we can prove AC equal BD by using the rule of distance between two points to prove that the shape is square Two diagonals equal in length. Square. Sorry, I repeat. Square. This word. Cancel this word. To prove that the shape is a square. Each two of the sides are are parallel, and four angles are right. Then, if we if we prove that AB perpendicular to AD, it means four angles are right, and the two diagonals in the square are perpendicular. And we must prove that they are equal in length. They are equal in length. Again, to prove that shape is parallelogram, prove that each two of the sides are parallel or equal in length. Or we have two, only two of the sides equal in length and parallel. In the rhombus square rectangle, at first prove that the shape is parallelogram. Then add the special property in rhombus in square. In rectangle in rhombus we can prove that two diagonals perpendicular perpendicular and not equal in it in rectangle prove that four angles are right four angles are right or two diagonals equal in length equal in length in a square we can prove that two diagonals perpendicular and and equal in length and equal in length prove that the shape is uh, rhombus at first Find to prove that each two of the sides are parallel. Find the slope of AB, which is equals one over five. Equal to minus y one divided by x two minus x one. A one and three and B six four. Then find the slope of CD. Yes, C and D. C and D. Nine. Nine minus eight divided by seven minus two equals one over one over five. The slope of AB equals the slope of CD, then AB parallel to CD. This is the first step. Second step, find the slope of BC equals 5, and the slope of AD also equals 5. Then BC parallel to AD. At this step, we prove that the shape is, yes, parallelogram, not rhombus. We must add two diagonals, then the shape is parallelogram. Parallelogram A B C D. Then find the slope of the two diagonals A C equals nine minus three divided by seven minus one equals one, and the slope of B C equals negative one. Then A C perpendicular to B D. It means two diagonals are perpendicular. Then A B C D is a uh, rhombus. Prove that. Uh, prove that the shape 
A, B, C, D is trapezium. Trapezium means or trapezoid. A quadrilateral has only two sides or parallel. Has only two sides or parallel. So we can find the slope of AB by using the rule y2 minus y1 divided x2 minus x1 equals 4 minus 3 divided 3 minus 7 equals negative 1 divided by 4. By the same way, CD, the slope of CD equals, yes, y2 minus y1 divided x2 minus x1 equals 2 minus negative 1 equals plus 1 divided negative 1 minus negative 1, negative 1 plus 1 equals 3 divided by 0, 3 divided by 0. Then slope of uh, AB and slope of CD uh, doesn't equal, then AB uh, uh, not barely, yes, it's not barely to CD, not barely, then we have two sides of not barely. The second step finds the slope of BC equals 4 over 8 equals a half, and the slope of AD equals also 2 over 4 equals half. It means BC is barely to AD. BC is barely to AD, then ABCD is trapezium. Trapezium means has only two sides or parry. Has only two sides or or parry. Yes. This lesson is uh, very easy. Try to solve more exercise. Uh, and uh, inshallah we'll complete uh, the last uh, lesson in uh, geometry next session inshallah uh, thank you for listening